In this video, we're going to get started on the civil project. Now I have the instructions pulled up here and it wants us to go ahead and take that civil prototype drawing, save it as mortgage survey. I've already done that step. I've worked a little bit ahead here just to save up some time. So I've saved it as mortgage survey activate the model tab. We're going to set the units as seen in this figure here. This is so we can set up the units to understand degrees, minutes, and seconds along with bearings. And then we're also going to set the LT scale to 18. The, the steps afterwards are to create the layers and I've already done those steps. So we'll jump straight from step four down to creating the dimension styles on the next page. Move that to my other screen and Let's get going. So let's set the line type scale, LTS, to 18. And let's go ahead and set our units. I'm just going to type the word units. We're going to set those to um, type is decimal, precision is 2, surveyor's units over here under the angle, and then the uh, precision, we're going to go with 0 degrees we're going to have we're going to have it say degrees minutes and seconds northeast so with two decimal places there we go so we're going to say okay and we are all set up step 5 was to create the layers but as you see i've already created those layers just to save us some time here we need to create a text style called civil text i'm going to come over here to annotate and create a new Civil text. Okay, we're going to make sure that the civil text is set to the Arial font. We need to make sure that the height is set to zero. That's really important. You always, always, always want this to be set to zero. If you ever go back into your drawing and for some reason you can't edit the text height and your dimensions or anywhere else, you probably put a number in here. We keep this at zeros at all times so that it can remain neutral. So let's go ahead and set that one current and close. So when we come back, we've got civil text as our current text. Now we're going to create dimension styles. So I'm already on the annotate tab. You know, this tiny little arrow pulls up our styles. Lots of ways to get to dimension styles, but you probably know that by now. We're going to create a bunch of civil uh, text styles. We're going to have different names for them, and we're going to kind of copy each one. So it'll it'll take some time, but it's actually not that hard. So we're going to come in here. Oops, not modify. We're going to say new, and this one is called mortgage. I'll say OK. And then I'm just following the um, screenshots here in the book. So we are going to suppress dim line one and dim line two. This is really common with civil drawings where you don't see the dimension lines or the extension lines. When we're dealing like a, with a whole subdivision, you don't want to see all those lines and arrows. So um, it's pretty typical to suppress those. We're going to go to the next tab, symbols and arrows. And let's see, we're going to get our arrow size to 0 0.10. We will go to the next tab, text. We will make sure that this is set to our civil text that we just created. And we want our text height to be 0 0.10. We are going to make our dimensions aligned with the dimension line. And we are going to offset from dimension line 0 0.05. Next page, we are going to go over here to the fit tab. We'll say either beside the dimension line, use an overall scale, and we're going to set that overall scale to 18. And then we're going to make sure that both of these boxes are unchecked. Come over here to primary units. We'll set it to decimal. We'll set it to zero and we're going to do this we're going to put a suffix of the foot symbol at the end of our dimensions because when we're entering this as we enter the dimensions in autocad that foot symbol right now autocad thinks that means the minute symbol so what we understand to be the foot symbol and the inch symbol now that we've set it up for the surveyor units, that foot symbol means minutes and the inch symbol means seconds. So we're going to force our dimensions to have that foot symbol behind it. And that is it. We'll stop right there. 
Now I'm going to use this one and I'm going to create a new one. Start with mortgage and we're going to call this mortgage. Get rid of that first part. We're going to call this mortgage point zero. We'll say continue. Now the only thing that we're going to change on this one, this is where it's, it's, it's several things that we have to do here, but the only thing that we're going to change is we're going to make exactly all the same uh, dimension styles that we just set up. It's just that this one is going to have one decimal place. I'll say OK. We're going to do it again. We're going to create a new one. Mortgage. We're going to get rid of copy of, and we're going to call this one mortgage point zero zero. Continue. Same thing, primary units, we're going to set it to have two decimal places. That way we can quickly and easily adjust dimensions to have however many dimension or uh, uh, precision um, with whatever precision we need it to have. I'm going to create a new one. We're going to call this one mortgage arrows. So this one is going to be a dimension style with arrows. We're going to start with mortgage. Continue. And on this one, we're going to go back over here to lines and we're not going to suppress the dimension lines. We are going to still suppress the extension line. So we'll only see the arrows. And we will say, OK. And now we are going to say another new. We're going to start with mortgage arrows and we're going to call this mortgage arrows point zero zero. Continue. Same thing. So it's going to be exactly like mortgage. We're just going to have um, two decimal places here. Let's see. Is there anything else we need to do? Nope. That's it. So we're going to close. In the next video, we'll get drawing the. We'll get started drawing the property lines.